Yo, what's up? Uh, we're a little greeny today. Uh, we're on the laptop, actually, because I got my, my phone right here. Um, as you can see, we're in the basement. I was talking about yesterday, right? Oh, fuck, dude. Hold on. Yo, check this out. Oh, I just realized this. Hold on. Look. Some At some point, a bird was in my basement. I don't know how a bird got into my basement. Uh, why it pooped in my basement and where it's at currently. Okay, let's see. Is that good? That's good. Yeah. Hey, anyways, I'm Shotgun Shogun. Welcome to the channel. Um, man, I don't... Does that mean I got a dead bird somewhere in my basement? How did it even get in here? That's weird, dude. That's weird, dude. Anyways, um, yeah, I said yesterday how I need to like work out and, and stop being fat, right? So I figured, hey, I'll, I'll work out while I talk, right? Um, so the plan is I'm going to do strong lifts. Uh, I usually do this. Uh, also, it's like 122. I had a lot of work meetings this morning. Oh, I'm Shotgun Shogun. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. Um. Every time I start to lift, I, I do strong lifts just because it's a, a ABA, a BAB type of thing. So today's Wednesday. Yeah, it's 121. Sorry, a little bit late, but, you know, I had work and stuff like that. So we're going to do squat, overhead press, and, uh, and deadlift. Now, I'm going to do a lot, like, really low weight right now because it's, it's literally the first day I'm doing this back. Like, everything kind of... Man, I'll tell you what, like, my legs hurt, dude. Like, I've been sitting around way too much, man. Like, my the, the tops of my legs right here, do they, like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, they're, they're not feeling very good, but we'll, uh, we'll get it, we'll get it sorted, right? Okay, so I gotta do squats and overhead press, so I don't even, I don't even need this. All right, so, um, a, an interesting thing happened yesterday. I was streaming. And this dude came in and was like, hey, I forgot to unsub. You said that you don't give a shit about what your fans say. Get bent, bro. First off, like, I never, I never said that I don't care what my fans say. Realistically, if you were a fan, then you would understand that when I said... If you don't like the content moving forward, you know, unsubscribe. Because, like, here's the thing is if you don't like the content but you're still subscribed, you're still going to see it, and then it's a dead sub. Like, there's no point in the two of us doing this, right? But it's like, I don't know, man. If you were, if you were a fan, then, like, you would understand that I was playing, I was moving on, right? Oh, where do I put this? Um, oh, no, no, we got a one down. We got a one down. Oh, buddy. The other thing, too, is, like, how needy are you for attention that you gotta be like, bruh, I need... to let you know... how mad you made me. Right? So it's, it's really weird... No, I don't want... Oh, dude, I'm so dumb. No, this is the completely wrong thing. Comment if you were like, bro, what are you even doing right now? I, how are you going to... If you if you lift that up, what what is it going to matter? These are the if you drop it parts. Right, Crichton? These are the if you drop it parts. It doesn't kill you. Oh, 
off of here. So, I appreciate the people who have been seeming to enjoy this content. Uh, because I'm enjoying making it, honestly. Like, I'll be real, it's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, I wish I had other hooks. That's what these are for. This goes here. That goes there. Now I'm going to have people that are going to critique my, my form. Okay, come up. Step forward. Oh, man. Oh, that's going to hurt. Oh, I haven't used these in so long. These legs, that is. Oh, we're gonna have to stretch. Yeah, we're gonna have to. Oh my goodness, this is the problem with sitting around all day, dude. Sit around all day, man. Like my thighs are just in a spot, dude. Ooh. People be like, "Oh man, look at him. He's already, like he's just lifting the bar." That's more than you're doing. Right? Um, but anyways, uh one of the things I wanted to talk about today too, uh besides that do like what like I don't know, I've never really felt the need to like tell somebody or something like uh, oh I'm out, man. Oh I can't oh. oh I'm so mad. Like if you don't like something, just peace out, right? Like it is what it is, you know. Um but like, apparently, like with with Epic Seven, right? And people be like, "Oh, he's gonna talk about Epic Seven. Apparently, they're alienating their uh, some of their artists. Like one of my friends messaged me yesterday, and was like, "Hey, just a heads up. Like I'm I'm piecing out of the game, you know." And I'm like, "Oh, that sucks." Yeah, I'm like, "Why?" They kind of gave me, like, a TLDR about it, and, like, I did a little bit of, like, research on my own, but, like, yeah, apparently, like, the official Discord, like, uh, was kind of shitting on some artists and stuff like that, and so now, like, a bunch of artists are not happy with Epic 7, so it's, like, you're alienating the few art, like, some of the few artists that you have for your game that already doesn't have a lot of artists, like, you should be, it goes back to, like, the whole Lakari thing, where it's, like, if you have these artists, or you have these, like, really big streamers, or you have these really big influencers that want to, like, show your game. Like, somebody posted on one of my videos uh, yesterday, actually, um, about how they found Epic 7 through Lakari, and it's, like, yeah, that's free advertisement. Oh, somebody posts some fan art? Free advertisement. Like, a Smilegate should be jumping on this man they should be like oh hey you know you are a big fan artist stuff like that like here's some sky stones you know it's literally nothing to them uh you know they should have treated lucari better they should have kept lucari around um a lot of people came to epic 7 because of lucari um with epic 7 smilegate doesn't really bring in large streamers like other games I mean, look at, like, Tower of Fantasy or, um, you know, some of these other mobile games that are just like, hey, yeah, money. Money at streamers. It's called marketing. Like, yeah, that's how you're going to bring people in, right? Smilegate seems to not know how, what, what they're doing. And it's really kind of disappointing. Because, like, you watch it and, and you're like, nah, man. It's gonna get better they're gonna figure out what they're gonna do but you gotta think about it right it's a four-year-old game now and, and unlike fate grand order 
it doesn't have like a prolific IP backing it, right? Like most people know Fate, whether it's through the game, whether it's through the anime, whatever, a friend, like most people know Fate Stay Night, Fate Grand Order, stuff like that. So Fate Grand Order really doesn't have to worry too much about that. Like one of the things I've always said with like Epic Seven is that they're like their own IP. They don't have that huge backing uh, to work off of, so they gotta try even harder. But it feels like like they haven't. I, I thought that when they got bought by Super or Super Creative got bought by Smilegate, that they would like you know corporatize and like just push everything out. And it feels almost like the opposite. But um, let's put some weight on here. Um, we had what twenty five on. Man, this is gonna be this is gonna suck. So that's 50, 40, that's 95. So start with 95. I mean, obviously, like I said, I'm gonna start like slow and then I'm gonna work my way up because, well, yeah, it's the first one. So obviously, next time we do squats, which I think is actually every day, right? Watch out, Crane. Yeah, we do squats every day. Um, yo, don't, no, don't eat, don't sniff that bird poop, dude. Okay, so we'll do, we'll start with 95. No, not 1,295. Apparently I did 120 last time. You know, the cool thing is with this app, like, look, it literally tells you what to put on each one shows form so we're gonna do like i said this strong list five by fives okay so we're doing 95 all right <laughs> i think i have my body weight in here is like 240 yeah i don't know about that one i don't know if that's the if that's true uh i intentionally leave my scale broken so that i don't ever know how much i weigh i think it's perfect like you just make up a number in your head and you're like, yeah, man, that's definitely what I weigh. All right, 95 by five. One, two, three, four. And the thing is, right, is like, man, I used to lift so much. All right, rest three minutes. We'll let, like, rest for a minute. Uh, we don't need to rest for three minutes. Whoops. Man, like, my, uh, all my cords, like, I think my, I need to get my phone, like, fixed. Because, like, my phone is, like, real wonky when it comes to uh, my charging cord. But so, the thing is, right, is, like, yeah, we talked about this last night on stream, which, by the way, um, if you've made it this far, how long have I been? 13 minutes before the first lift. That's some stall content right there, boys. Well, actually, that's not technically because I did the warm up with the. Anyways, um, I think that mobile games are gonna hit a saturation point soon. I think a lot of people are getting like tired of loot boxes. I think people have been tired of loot boxes, but I think that like people are realizing how shitty they are. Through like things like Diablo Immortal, um, and and other stuff like that, and so I think that like people are gonna start just like not, because like anytime that like there's a cash shop, immediately it's like oh pay to win oh, okay. watch out Chris. it tells me in a minute thirty if you're not feeling too fatigued go again. I'm gonna feel this tomorrow, that's for sure, or later today. All right, 
Okay. But I think that people are going to start getting, like, more uh, fatigued over mobile games and stuff like that. Um, And like I said, we're already seeing it. You know, anytime a new game comes out with a cash shop, oh, pay to win, um, stuff like that. And I think that, like, your average player just doesn't want that anymore. Um, yeah, the other thing, too, man, I thought that, like, doing this later in the day, I wouldn't yawn as much. But, um, like, the other thing, too, is that when you play a mobile game, and this is something that happened to me. You play a mobile game, you spend a bunch of money to stay relevant and competitive. Because if you stop spending, you fall off. Um, you go play some single player games. You have fun. Maybe you spent 60 bucks on a AAA game, right? And you got, let's say, a week or two of enjoyment out of it. Even if you got a whole weekend... Then you go back to a mobile game, and like 60 bucks gets you nothing. I remember watching like PoE, uh, I was watching some PoE streamer, and he was talking about, he was lamenting the fact that he spent like 250 bucks on all of these cosmetic gotcha boxes, but he got everything. He's like, oh man, yeah, it took 250 bucks. Hold on, right back. You know, the more I do this, the less my legs are feeling tight. Yeah. Um, but he was lamenting the fact that he spent 250 bucks. And I, I was joking about it on stream. I was like, what's 250 bucks get you in a gotcha game usually? Like, normally it's like, oh my god. I only had to spend $700. To get this unit that's going to be irrelevant in like a couple of months. And it's like mobile games are like the only place that that is like accepted, right? Like if you went to somebody and you're like, yeah, man, I spent $700 for this bottle of ketchup. People would be like, "Are you are you dumb? Like, what's what's wrong with you? Like, what what happened to you that made you like this?" And it's like at end of service. What uh you know what what does it what does it even do for you? You know, it's a PNG. I mean, I guess you could say that about things like you know World of Warcraft MMOs. Like at the end of service, what does it do for you? But that's just time investment. And most of them, anyways. Unless you do, like, RMT or something along those lines. Then, yeah, there's, like, a, a further investment, right? I think I could have gone higher than 95. Uh, I definitely think so. So I wanted to start a little bit low. Next time, we'll, we'll go up, like, a lot more. Because, like I said, we got to do squats every day. Well, every time we work out. So, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um... So it'll go up quick. But like one thing I did in the past, for like before, is I would start too high, and then I would hurt myself. Um, so I think that starting lower and then going higher, uh, probably better overall, right? Whew. I'm definitely going to feel this later though, that's for sure. I need to, uh, I need to go to the store and get some chicken. I actually need to go out and do stuff today. 
which is rough. Uh, I didn't realize that on my birthday, like a month ago, over a month ago now, that my ID expired. Uh, until like yesterday when somebody was like, oh, hey, we need a photocopy of your ID. And I'm like, oh, huh. Well, I need to go get one of those tomorrow. Um, but like, I don't ever leave my house, right? So hopefully I don't get like pulled over on the way to the DMV uh, and have an expired ID. That would be... It would be a little detrimental. That would be, I'd be like, ah, oh, well, officer, funny story is that I'm literally on my way to go do this, you know? And they'll be like, oh, yeah, I'm sure I've heard that one before. And I'd be like, but for real, I don't leave my house. Here's my YouTube channel. I don't, I don't ever go anywhere, man. Like, look at me. Do I look like I go anywhere? No. Definitely not to get a haircut. That's for sure. All right, last set. Yeah. Huh. Oh, stuffy nose, man. All right, step forward. A little teetery here. I need to put my clamps on the sides. Yeah, definitely feeling the fact that I haven't really used my legs much. All right, so we got to do overhead press next. So we'll do, no, I don't want to do empty bar. Squat. So it wants us to do 85 or 87.5. Yeah, I don't think I need to do that. Yeah, I think we'll just do this. I think we'll just do 95. Can I do this right here? Oh, no, that's right. Two. I can't go full extension. Didn't I have a second pair? I felt like I had a second pair of those at some point. Because I had them on the inside, then I had them on the outside. So I could shift one of these bars to the outside. So I could do it here where I had more clearance. But we'll just deal with it. We'll make it more controlled anyways instead of just slamming it up real fast um so we do 95 and then all right first one's done and then we've got deadlift afterwards as the last one and that one's just one five or one by five so we go we'll go pretty heavy on that one probably although deadlift is how i got this scar on my head the story a while back july 4th right i uh had been doing a tad bit of drinking um i was a little sauced and at the time, it was like my peak of lifting, right? Like, I lifted all the time. I was in good shape. I was jacked. Um, I was dead lifting 425 pounds. And, um, of course, while I was drunk, someone was like, you can't lift 425 pounds. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I can. And they're like, nah, man, you can't do that. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, dude. I can. No, like no. And I'm like, all right, I'll go prove it. Well, long story short, TLDR, I couldn't. 
because I uh, I got my stuff all wrapped up. I was ready. I wanted to lift and then just immediately hit forward into the back of the squat rack, split my head wide open, bled all over the place. Um, I actually think that there's still like stain-ish on like the floor over there from the giant pool of blood that I was in. Uh, they had to stop my dogs from like, <laughs> like licking away at the blood on the floor. Uh, and I didn't remember any of this. I just woke up in the, uh, I just woke up in the bathroom. Anyways. Right? You ready? We're gonna watch. Right? Sit. High five, please. Boom. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Actually, I'll do chords just. It's a lot harder when you try to do it like controlled instead of just slamming it up in the air. Pretty you right? Sit. Nope. Sit. Right there. Stay right there. Three. Two. One. There we go. Good boy. Good boy. Sit. Sit down. All right. Yeah. Good boy. But, um, yeah, no, I've been, uh, I've been having fun with these videos so far. Like, this is really cool. I get to, like, just kind of do what I was going to do normally. Um, but just talk about stuff. Various stuff. Uh, somebody last night said that they didn't know if I was doing a forcing cosplay or, like, a, a fat Asmongold cosplay. I thought I thought the fat Asmongold thing was really funny. And uh shout out to my friend Nazrin for showing me the fat Asmongold picture. Cuz like uh, she showed it to me and I'm like where'd you get that picture of me? I have a lot of a picture of me balding. You know, she's like, "What? Huh? That's fat Asmongold." And I'm like, "Oh, that's a good that's a good uh a good title. Maybe today's title will be uh, forcing cosplayer lifts weights. You know, I'm gonna be like, classic. Never doubt the god gamer. Oh, unlucky. Oh. What? What? Oh. Unlucky. Chet, you're so stupid. Alright. Ow, I almost put my thumb in my eyeball. Oh, what? Oh, man, that would have sucked. Oh. oh, I think I did. Oh, fuck. Oh, my eyes jacked up. I think I just thumbed, thumbed my eyeball, man. What the fuck? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to set that up differently uh, for next time. So that was really awkward. Oh, like really awkward. Yeah, I think I put my thumb in my eye. Yeah, I need to get like some hair ties for my for my hair. Like put myself up a little man bun back here. No. No, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think we'll do that. Um, so I did my first stream on YouTube last night. Uh, it was interesting. I definitely didn't get as many people as I would on Twitch. So like, usually when I go live on Twitch, I get like about a hundred viewers, give or take, um, lots of lurkers. Uh, sometimes it'll go up to like 150. Like, it's not bad. Uh, sometimes it dips down. I had like 
sub 10 for like a little bit on YouTube last night. And it is what it is. I was just going to play games anyways. But I think like the big thing that YouTube needs to do is just discoverability, right? I did notice, though, when I was watching some YouTube videos this morning, uh, waiting for calls, that like in the recommended, they actually do have live channels now. Now, granted, it's like live channels that I follow, but like it's a start, right? Like, I think that's the big thing is that YouTube just needs to figure out how to do that. Like, how to get that discoverability, right? And I, I, then I think it'll be great. Okay, these are getting a lot harder. Oh, yeah, we're definitely getting to like the uh, the rough point. Like the next one, the next set of five is going to be pretty brutal to knock out. Maybe ninety-five was a little bit too much to start with. It is what it is. Can't back down now, right? Always go big dick. Deadlift, I'll probably do 135. We'll put 45s on each side. I think that'll be fine. And we'll go from there. But, you know, the nice thing, too, about all of this. Oh, we were talking about uh, YouTube streaming. But regardless, uh, we'll shift gears. Um, the nice thing about all of this, right, is that I can talk about whatever it is that's on my mind while doing the stuff that I want to do. You know, whether it be work out or sit outside. It was a really nice morning this morning. I almost thought about doing two videos because I actually do have some other stuff that I want to talk about too. Uh, but I think that needs to be like a whole video. Uh, it's going to be why free-to-play games are so toxic. Uh, and, and not because of like the monetization but the communities because we all know that like most mobile games and most free to play games are really really toxic all right last set and then the deadlift Yeah, that was, uh, that was rough. Whoo. Whoo. Yeah, what is it? That was, uh, all right. You ready? We're going to do some deadlifts, Odin. I got to bring a broom down here. The mice have... It pooped everywhere. Everywhere. Oh. We definitely 100% need to need to clean down here. All right. 45s. Yeah, I need to clean my uh, my basement in general. I need to clean my house. I think. Like, this is a good start, though. 
working out, talking about stuff. Good for the good for the mental, right? I did feel kind of bad that um like I was supposed to be on the official Epic 7 podcast tonight and uh or tomorrow and um yeah i told him i was like obviously you know i'm stepping back from content creation so no real sense in having me on there right uh it, it felt bad but it, you know it is what it is i think like stepping back from from mobile games in general is going to be good like, I've been having a lot of fun playing World of Warcraft. Like, I was playing it last night for $15. For just $15 a month, you too can sponsor another Bobby Kotick yacht. But at the same time, I can play that game for 15 hours a day for $15 a month. Hey, get out of there. Hey, come here. Come here. What are you doing? What are you doing? Let me get, let me get this spot. I get it. Where's it at? Right here? Yeah. Yeah, you like that, huh? Whereas, like, on mobile games, right? Like, and I think the big deal with, like, mobile games is it only takes you, like, 30 minutes to do all your daily stuff. If that, sometimes. Sometimes it's just log in, get your login bonus, and then you're on your way. Right? But, like... Yeah, I think that, like, you know, single-player games, I think that, like, MMOs in general, like, there needs to be a new MMO. I'm super excited for the Riot MMO. Ashes of Creation looks pretty sweet. Like, I, I hope that they're, I hope they're good. All right, guys. This is the last one. This has been going for, like, what? Ooh, 37 minutes. All right. Okay. Well, hopefully you guys stuck around for it. Watch out, man. You ain't gonna lift no fucking weight, dude. What are you doing over there? What are you doing? Sit down. Look at this dog. He's gonna he's gonna lift some weights right here. Look at this dog. Are you gonna lift those weights? All right, man. It's all you. It's all you, dude. Lift those weights. Yeah. Come on. You're in the spot, dude. Can you get him? All right, you gonna help him out? No, you need me to slider? All right, watch out. All right, dogs. You ready? Oh, man, it's been so long since I deadlifted. All right, we get down. Ready? Get down. Get up. Two. Three. Four, five, and hold it. All right. Cool deal. Actually, wasn't too bad. And we only have to do one set of them. But that's going to be it for me today. Um, we'll be back tomorrow. Where I'll be on the porch. We're going to talk about toxic free-to-play game communities. But well, as always, if you guys like this content, like, fave, subscribe. I stream on here. Uh, so I'm sure you'll see me go live. But I'll catch you guys later. Take it easy, homies. Peace.